Okay, so we are going to go through um, sort of like the expectations for your two EU responses for your science interest project blog. And I'm going to show you an example and all of those things. So nobody should be writing EU responses until you've watched this video. So we discuss our enduring understandings each day. It's important to reflect on each of them to ensure that you're making connections between what you're learning in science class and your real life. When you respond, use complete sentences and your best grammar, punctuation, and spelling. So the list of EUs for science are, that you can pick from, are all things have unique properties, evidence matters, change happens over time, patterns help us make predictions, inquiry is a process that leads to learning, and relationships exist between all things. So there's a list of six EUs. Remember on your Google site blog, you are picking two. Okay, so um, you're not going to pick one and do two responses to that one. You're going to pick two different, oops, you're going to pick two different EUs. I lost my screen. Where are we at? There we go. Um, so let's say you wanted to do evidence matters and you wanted to do relationships exist between all things. So what you would do is you would make sure you copy these over into your blog in the two places. Okay. So the two places are, you've got, oops, nope. I meant this one. Um, It's loading. Hang on a minute. You have two places to write these. So on your home page, down here where it says type the full EU here, add a photo that you feel is appropriate for your topic and that EU above, you would write, like for me, I picked evidence matters. So I would just write the sentence there. And then this one relationships exist between all things. I'm going to find pictures later. So that's done there. And then remember on the EU responses page, you need to have um, your, you could add it to the title or you could, um, you know, enter that and put like evidence matters here. And then you would have your response here. Um, or you could put it in the title here. So you could have like that. And then down here, you would do your second one. Okay. So once you decide what two EUs you want to do, you would format your blog like that. Um, you also don't need to, to decide in advance. You can wait until you start doing some blog posts and do, doing some research before you decide which EUs you're going to respond to. Okay. So each EU response, you have two should be a solid paragraph, which is typically like five to eight sentences. It can be longer. If you want to make yours two paragraphs, you can. But for your EU responses, they only have to be one. You um, should use the race strategy because that's what you're learning in English. You should be making a clear connection between the EU that you chose and what you learned about through your research of your topic and real life. Maybe you have a real life connection to what you're learning and that EU. There should be at least two clear connections stated in your paragraph. So when I'm reading your paragraph, I should be able to highlight with a marker or with, you know, the highlight tool, what your two connections are. They should be specific. Um, you should also include an explanation of what the EU means within the context of your topic. So your entire paragraph should not be just telling me what relationships are in general. Your entire paragraph should not be talking about why evidence is important. We know that. That's a given. We want, I want to see you make connections about why evidence matters in relationship to global exploration or in relationship to climate change or in relationship to identifying a genetic disorder. So you need to be specific within your topic. Okay. And then um, at the end of this video, go ahead and um, pause the video when I'm done talking and you can read through my example. Okay. Now, this is a teacher writing this. So I don't expect you know, you to have teacher level syntax and grammar and I, and, and all of that. But I wanted to give you a solid example that you can at least see how it works. 